We are given a trapezoid A, B, C, D and a circle with center O inscribed inside the trapezoid in such a way that it touches the trapezoid from the inside at four points E, F, G, H. The height of the trapezoid AB is four units and the slant CD is five units. We are to calculate the area of the trapezoid A, B, C, D. Note, this diagram is not drawn to scale. This angle is a right angle. Now, solution. Area of a trapezoid is half times the sum of the two base times height. In our case, our bases are AD and BC. And we are not given the length of AD and BC. So we have to find out the length of the basis by herself. First, let us connect this point of tangent at E to the center O. And let us also connect this point G to center O also. Now, note that the center and the point of tangency are collinear, meaning they lie on the same straight line. Now, let us look at this theorem, the tangent radius theorem, which states that the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of contact. So this line AD is a tangent and this line OE is perpendicular at this point. This angle here is a right angle or 90 degrees. Also at point G, this line BC is perpendicular to this line. So here we have a right angle. Let us call this length OE, which is the radius R, and also OG is also the radius. Let us call it R. EG is the diameter of this circle. The length AB is equal to the diameter of this circle. Line AB is 4 units. That means the diameter of this circle is also 4 units. So because AB is 4 units, we can say that line AF is 2 units and line FB is 2 units as well. Now, let us come over to site CD. I will level this length DH as X and HC as Y. Then we can say that length DC is X plus Y equals to 5. Now, let us call that equation 1. Now, let me tell you about two tangent theorem. Two tangent theorem states that if two tangents are drawn to a circle from a single external point, this tangent will always be equal in length. Now, let us apply two tangent theorem in our question. At this point, C is the external point, and these two line segments will act as tangents to this circle. This length will be equal to this length. This length is y, so this length will be y. Similarly, at point A, A is our external point, and these two line segments also act as tangents to this circle. This length will be equal to this length. This length is 2 units, so this length will also be 2 units. At point B, the same two tangent theorem is applied. FB is 2 units, so BG will also be 2 units. Also, we apply two tangent theorem at point D. This line DH is X, so ED will also be X as well. Now, let's add them together. Line AD equals to X plus 2 and line BC equals to Y plus 2. Finally, we are in the final step to calculate the area of trapezoid ABCD. Now, let us recall the formula for area of trapezoid. Area equals to 1 over 2 times AD plus BC times H. Now, let us go ahead and substitute in the values in this formula. So, area of the trapezoid will be equal to half times our AD is X plus 2 and our BC is Y plus 2 times the height, which is 4. 2 will divide 4. We have 2 here. Then we are going to have 2 bracket X plus Y plus 4. From my equation 1, x plus y equals to 5. So we are going to substitute the value of x plus y as 5 in this place. We will have 2 into the bracket of 5 plus 4. 
So area equals to 18 square units. Finally, the area of this trapezium is 18 square units. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.